What's up and welcome to Electrical Solutions YouTube channel. Today we're going to be adding this surge protector for a home line square D panel into this panel. We do have uh, open spaces in the panel so we can add it without doing any maneuvering. This specific surge protector is UL listed for the home line series uh, panels. It's not UL listed for any other one so it does have to specifically go in here. We do need to put it closest to the main um, as well as the neutral closest to the neutral wire. Shut off the power to the panel and then we'll take the cover off. All right, now that it's shut off and locked down tag out, we are going to remove these screws first. Now when we're taking this last one off, we do want to be careful uh, because the cover can spring, it could cause other problems, it could potentially short out. Even though the power is off, we do want to be careful. So the next thing we're going, so the next thing we're going to do is we are going to test to see if it's dead. And if it was labeled correctly, the tester is showing green. So that tells me it is dead. We now need to take the breaker and it's gonna take up two slots and we need it closest to this wire and this wire. So what we're gonna need to do is we're gonna need to take these out first and move them down two spots. So this one will go here, and this one will go here. Then we're going to unroll the breaker and then we'll, we'll land him first. So he's now in his correct spot. Your wires, everything's okay. We, now we want that to land closest to the neutral, which is gonna be there. So we're gonna cut it to fit. And now we're going to put it to the ground bar that's in there. So open it up, tighten it down, make sure it's nice and tight, because that is how the surge protector works. So now we have our surge protector closest to your main, your neutral closest to your neutral wire. You may have to move a neutral wire too to get it there. We will have to relabel the panel a little bit, which isn't an issue. Once we turn the power on, uh, we will verify that that green light will turn on. We do want to make sure the panel load is off when we turn the panel back on because it could essentially surge and uh, trip your main back. It's just a good practice to do. Um, so we'll leave these off, we'll turn the power back on, and then we'll turn them back uh, on slowly. There is one more step that we need to do, is, which is knock out these two because we've moved it. So what I use typically is going to be my lineman. And you just give it a couple wiggles. They're now out, so the panel will fit over it and in. And now we'll put our screws back in. All right, so we're good to go there. We will need to move these down and relabel this, which isn't an issue. We're now gonna turn the power back on and verify that it works. All right. So now, green light tells us there's power. We're gonna turn all the circuits back on. So, house is now protected with surge protection. This one was off, he's a spare. As we can see, now we'll just relabel the panel. Uh, I would say the most important thing here is making sure that this is closest to your, your main breaker. Per the uh, manufacturer's specs, as well as the neutral being close, um, and it being UL listed for this panel because you don't want to put like a 
Siemens breaker in here if it's only rated for Siemens panels. It's a UL listing thing. So there is one other thing that when this goes bad, that light will turn off. So uh, let's say that your, your, your oven or anything that's 240 is still working your AC unit or anything like that, and this light is off, that tells you this needs to be replaced.